Okay, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to calculate the amount of work you do using a very special kind of simple machine called a pulley. Now, I'm just going to tell you ahead of time, my goal in this video is to convince you that when you use pulleys, you do the same amount of work as when you don't use the pulleys to lift something up. When I ask students, why do we use simple machines? Why do we use pulleys? They always say, it makes things easier. And my point is that it doesn't make things easier, and I'm going to try to convince you that, or I'm going to convince you, not going to try to, I'm going to convince you that whether you use pulleys or whether you don't use the pulleys to lift something up, the amount of work you do is the same from a physics point of view, and really from any point of view. All right, We think it's easier, but it's not, and this is what I mean by that. Okay, we're going to calculate work. That is what we want to know. And work has a very special definition. Work is the force times the distance. Sometimes you multiply that times the cosine of theta, but we're not going to do that for this video. It's not necessary because everything is kind of in the same direction. Okay? And to calculate work, we do force times distance, which is work equals F times D. W equals F times D. Now, the first case is we're going to do this without the pulleys. Okay. Now, I went through in video part two of this four-part series on simple machines and pulleys how we came up with all these numbers. Okay. So I'm not going to explain the numbers and how we calculated them. I'm just going to go through and show you how to calculate the amount of work. But the output force, we said, is equal to the weight. So we have an object that is six, that is 90 newtons. It has a weight of 90 newtons. And we want to raise that object up 6 meters. That means we want it to go from here up to here, and that is 6 meters. When we do that, we're going to calculate the amount of work. And the amount of work that we do is the force times the distance. Now, if we use the pulleys, you'll notice the force we have to use, this is the input force. This is the output force, the weight of the object. This is the input force. This is the force we put into the machine. This is the force we have to pull on the string with a force of 22.5 newtons. You'll notice that this force that we put in is one quarter of this. All right? That's because the MA is 4. So the input force is one quarter. We only have to put in a quarter of the force. Well, that seems a lot easier. If we want to lift something up that's 90 newtons, we only have to apply 22.5 newtons. Hey, that makes it look pretty easy. But you'll notice the distance we have to pull the string is four times as far. We only have to put in a quarter of the, of the force, but six is how far we want to raise it. We got to pull the string 24 meters. That's a long distance, and that would make me really tired. You'll notice 6 times 4 is 24. 90 divided by 4 is 22.5. That's how you calculate the input force. Output force divided by the MA. To get the input distance, you have to take the output distance and multiply it by the MA, which is 24. Okay, so to calculate the work with the pulleys, we just do uh, the force times the distance. Now you'll notice it's output, output, in, in. You can't mix your ins and outs. There's just no way you can do that. It's either in and in, and out and out, or no way at all. You can't say input force times output distance. It don't, don't work that way. So we have our outputs here, force and distance. We're going to multiply them, and we get 540 joules of work. We did 540 joules of work. When I pick a box up that has 90 newtons, and I raise it up right above my head. No, I'm not 6 meters tall. I'm 6 feet tall. If I raise it up 6 meters, I do 540 joules of work. Okay, now, if I then attach it to the pulleys, I only have to apply a force of 22.5 newtons. That makes it sound really easy. But i got to pull the string 24 meters. And 22.5 newtons force across 4, 24 meters is, you guessed it, 540 joules. You will notice the amount of work is the same. Look, 540 and 540, it's the same. It's a greater distance across a less force a lesser distance across a greater force. No, I said that backwards. A greater distance across a shorter distance. I'm getting confused. A greater force 
across a lesser distance and a lesser force across a greater distance, they both equal to 540 joules. The amount of work is the same whether you use the pulleys or whether you don't use the pulleys. And that is how we calculate work. And now you know, and then never again in class when your teacher asks you, you know class, why do we use simple machines? You will not raise your hand and say, because it makes things easier. It doesn't. Thank you very much for watching. I hope I convinced you. I convinced myself. And if I convinced you and you enjoyed that video, please give me a thumbs up or give me a nice comment. No mean comments. Nice comments in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching. We will see you in the next video.